All right, guys, here at the Liberty Show in New York City at Javis Center, we got Jacob Hurwitz from American Trench. He's going to talk to us a little bit about the brand, some of their products, their socks, their trench coats, and this really badass peak coat we got over here. So, Jacob, why don't you take us away? My brand is American Trench. We hail from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Our brand started with the vision of making a trench coat in the United States. So we started with this. We did a Kickstarter launch in uh, January of 2013. Uh, at the same time, we included socks in our launch. If you couldn't afford our um, well-priced but uh, not cheap uh, <laughs> Ventile raincoat, which is made in North Jersey. And uh, it ended up creating kind of a bifurcated offering for us. We have a whole collection of socks and knits, and then we have a growing collection of outerwear. So, so Jacob, why don't you tell us, everything is made in the United States, correct? And you, and you guys get some of the fabrics and uh, raw materials from other countries, right? You, you guys look for really unique stuff, really unique blends of cotton and linens and silks and stuff like that. Everything is made in the United States. This sock is knit in Reading, Pennsylvania, but it is knit from an Italian yarn that is a mix of merino, cashmere, viscose, and uh, nylon. Nice. So this is this is a luxury yarn, but it's, it's knit at a, a high-end knitting mill in Pennsylvania, and it's finished in a, another factory in South Jersey. Um, this is from Superfine Merino. And what about uh, the camel sock? Things are, those are special. This, this is is a sock that's knit from baby camel hair. Um, no baby camels were harmed. That's everyone always asks us they that. They were, but it's okay. They, they were not harmed. <laughs> um, but it's incredibly warm, and it's about half the price of cashmere yarn, and fairly more resistant to wear and tear. So it's it's a really interesting luxury yarn to make a sock from. We for spring summer we just got a new sock. This sock is knit in Pennsylvania from um, a linen and cotton blend. The yarn comes from a mill in Italy called Filmar that specializes in cotton specifically and high-end cotton. So they use American grown and spun Supima cotton. They use uh, the highest grades of Egyptian cotton and they twist the yarn with other things like cashmere and linen and silk. And you guys can't see it or feel it, but this is a super thin, super soft wearing sock. It's really nice. Almost like silky. Really, really nice feel to it. And not everything we do is, you know, is on the like cream, like super high end cost wise. I mean, that's a more expensive sock. That's a, a, a sock that's gonna retail for $29.50. This is a sock that retails for $19.50. Um, but it is 100. It is American merino. So this is an, a, a, a merino wool that is that comes from an American herd of sheep that is uh, spun into yarn in America and knit in North Carolina. Mm. It also has silver in the heel and toe, but it's quite affordable at 1950, and it is an amazing sock. And it's got a terry knit, so it's really soft. A really, really wonderful sock for active use in the fall. And so Jacob, tell us. So everything is made in the United States. Tell us about sourcing in the United States. Is it difficult? Is it hard? We hear about people wanting to bring the intention back to the United States, but in my research and what I found with my ventures is there's really not a lot of production left in the United States. It's here, but there's not a lot of it, and to find it can be difficult. It's very difficult. It's a labor of love. It's our reason to be, so we're just super, super diligent about it, but it is absolutely not easy. It requires um, a lot of time and effort to make connections with the factories, to convince them that what you're doing is commercial and scalable, uh, and that and that you care, and that you want to work with them, and, and figuring out if they want to work with you. It, it really takes a lot of dedication and energy, um, but we we think it's 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 our reason to be. So we're going to do it. We're gonna we're gonna make the effort. If we can't make it here, we're not going to make it. That doesn't mean that. Amazing things aren't made abroad, they are, but that's just our focus. Cool. Like like knits, like we have cashmere knits that are knit in Texas. These, this is a full garment knit that's made in Texas. It's um, the same caliber of knit coming out of, of any of the highest knitwear factories in Europe. Um, um, or China for that matter. China has some very high-end knitwear factories, but we want our stuff made here and we found a place that can do it and it's a delight working for the owner. 
He's, a, he's an awesome guy, and every time we make something with him, we just couldn't be ha happier about it. And so, let's check out this jacket right here, this pea coat, this wool. I said it looks like a Casentino wool, which some of you guys may know about, some of you guys may not, but it's a beautiful texture. This is not Casentino, but as a zoom in, look at that. The nice woolly, fluffy texture. So Jacob actually had a good story about this wool. Jacob, if you want to tell us a little bit about this, it. This is what's called weather wool. Weather wool was created by a man named Ralph um, DeMio. He lives in North Jersey. He was looking for a performance woolen fabric to use for hunting. He wanted something that was 100% wool so that he could literally be in a, a, a duck blind or whatever he's sitting in for 12 hours. And he couldn't find anything that he liked. And just like we couldn't find a trench coat that we liked that was made in the United States, he went on a, a crazy vision quest to create this fabric. It's He, he sources his wool from, from uh, his own sheep farm, or not his sheep farm, but a sheep farmer that he's connected with in the Rocky Mountains. It's taken to Carriers in South Carolina and carted there. Uh, and then it's taken up to Woolwich in Pennsylvania. And it's knit on a jackhard loom. A normal plain weave is one layer. This has got like four layers uh, in one in one weave because it's a jacquard weave, and it's created essentially a technical performance wool that has a hand feel that's super soft, almost cashmere-like. Yeah, really beautiful. And it and wears. Heavy. And it's heavy and it wears like armor. Yeah. I mean, the Navy SEALs use it in Afghanistan, um, which just tells you how valuable it is and. Ralph actually received challenge coins from SEAL Team 10 after a mission or something. They only give challenge coins out when you save someone's life. That's cool. So this fabric literally saved someone's life and it's amazing stuff and we're really excited to bring it to a fashion piece. It's awesome. So so guys again, the brand is American Trench. It's Jacob Hurwitz. I'm Justin from the Fine Gentleman. Funny story, he was actually a math teacher at my high school. At Shipley although School. Although after I was there but we reunited with the love of menswear. Thanks for coming around, Jacob. We'll see you soon. Thank you, Justin.